How are you, kind folks? How do you do, kind folks? Slam and skits back together again. Hey. Indeed, son. How you doing? Uh, pretty gnarly, man. You know what I mean. Yeah, really. Oh, really? Hmm. Interesting. I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> or not asking. Oh, roasted. Oh, sorry. How are you doing, my good sir? Yeah, I'm doing all right. You know, not oh, that's splendid. There you go. What? How dashingly splendid. Yeah, I mean, it's it's going. Nothing really worthy of notes. Yeah. That's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. A lot of uh, behind the scenes stuff going on, but uh, hopefully everything will clear up and we'll be uh, getting the goods, if you will. Like yes. getting getting the good things. Good things will come to those who wait. That is what they say, you know. Indeed. Speaking of which, speaking of good things coming to those who wait, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, jackass. That's right. I uh, yeah. Uh, why why we chose jackass? I I don't even know, but here here we are, jackass. I, this is I personally was. Think it was on my mind because I'd been watching Steve-O's podcast or Steve-O's Wild Ride. That's the name of it. Which I can't even believe Steve-O has a podcast because he was one of my he's one of the faves on Jackass for me. So now he, I'll be checking that out. As a podcast, he has a stupidly successful, well put together podcast. Indeed, like it's, I, it's I, I'm sure he does. But uh, before before we get into any more, any more of that, let's for anyone who doesn't know anything about Jackass, let's describe what Jackass is. Can we? Can we? Can we kind of? Can, can we talk about anything about Jackass? Can, can we tell? Can we really describe what Jackass truly yeah, is? Um, how how can we put this? It is essentially it's YouTube uh, videos. YouTube videos, the TV you know, show. It is. And actually they even mentioned that on that podcast. Someone was like, This was like YouTube stuff before it existed. Yeah, it is. They, they said, someone said that on that podcast. I mean, so. it, I mean it is. It, it literally is. The, even the terrible cinematography and crappy <laughs> audio, like everything is YouTube quality right right there. And it is. It's not like extremely bad quality, but you know, it, it definitely has a little bit of that amateur thing for sure, you know. Yeah. It's not it's, this type of stuff can't be on YouTube today, of course, because if that no. happened then the YouTube algorithm and the kids shows would be all like, whoa, no, no, no. Anyway. Oh, no. But it can be on Paramount Plus, apparently. It can. Somehow. Well, it can be. Well, that's because it's a legacy product or whatever. So, oh, okay. I guess. But, any, but anyway, it's uh, it, what I'm saying is if you try to do what jackass does on youtube today you can't do it because of the algorithm really is pushing for kid friendly content so if you did something that stupid you can't do it they're they're not gonna allow you to do it back in the day yes today yeah no. they didn't care back then but what is jackass so it again, kind of hard to explain. Basically, it's a show slash movie series about a few, like a few brotherly idiots doing <laughs> idiotic, stupid 
crap, basically. They all were kind of brought together by the the skateboarding culture. Yeah, we'll it, get in, we'll get into the origins later, but we're just struggling with. Man, I thought we were doing the origins. No, we're talking about what jackass. What it is. Oh, okay. Yes. Hi, folks. So sorry. It's okay. Anyway, though. But jackass, it. The reason why it's called jackass is because they're jackasses for trying to do this garbage. Yes. <laughs> I but mean, she... it, it. I mean, it. Uh, it, the stuff ranges from, like, I don't know, beating them, like, punching themselves in the gut to, like, shooting, oh, like, flying, ski jumping off of a ramp and, like, shooting themselves while in the air or something, <laughs> you know, that type of that type of crap. Yeah. It is and some stuff that's even beyond that. Oh yes. Name just yet. Yeah. So this is basically and we they I think they also touched on this in the podcast at least or something. I, I remember reading this, but they were it's basically modern day evil Knievel with nineties like nineties I don't know, teenagers? Yeah, 90s teenagers. The, I guess. 90s, the, ni- the 90s essence is there. 90s, early 20s guys, I guess. Early 2000s? Is that what you're getting at, bro? N- no, they were... This This originated in the 90s. You said 20. Oh, you're... Okay, I'm with you. Yes, that is true. They're, uh, in, their, they're in their 20s. Yes, in, late 20s uh during uh, all this i believe it started in 97 if i'm not mistaken uh the show started in 2000 but we are going to you're talk right about origins. something was 97 it was hmm. probably the first the first videos is the late 90s so here so it's Originated by Johnny Knoxville, who you probably know, all know and love. He's the guy yep. that's kind of his own stuntman and all that. Spike Jones helped create this franchise, which, if you don't know who Spike Jones is, r- real fast tangent here, but he created some of the best films of our time for the most part. Did her. He he did a uh, the film Her, which is like awesome. Yeah, he did. He directed a lot of Charlie Kaufman films, like Being John, yeah. like jo- Charlie Kaufman scripts, like Being John Malkovich and ad- Adaptation. Mm. And he had, he's got an Academy Award nominations. Okay, wow. He created Jack. He created Jackass. So they wow. have an Academy Award nominated director. None at the time, but but yeah. through the it was like through like during his creation of the Jackass TV show, he got nominated for best director. So it it's kind of that's kind of bizarre. I think the only reason why he didn't win is because he created Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's the reason Maybe. why. But he's a great, fabulous director. I can't, I couldn't believe that he did that. But yeah, it was. <clears throat> but yeah, so there is some uh, controversy that we're going to touch on because, of course, there is. But we're just going to dive right into it, starting with the origins of Jackass. Yes. So do you want to. So, son, why don't you start with it, and I'll piece together the missing pieces that you might have missed. All right. Together. Like, all all the way. All the way to the beginning. Okay. 
Um, do you do you know? Do you know? <laughs> I know some. I mean, I'm not going to go through what led each and every member of the crew to. Nah, you don't. You don't have. No, you don't have to. Do, you don't have to do that. That that it would be here forever. It would be the old school podcast. If yeah, we don't. We don't want to do that. Let, let's just so, keep it short yeah. and sweet. Though. But it, so it didn't originate. Like the TV show just didn't come out of fruition. Oh no! It, it came, really started it with. From, it came from the late '90s, and what? Why did what happened there, son? So it all started with all these guys eventually having this desire to either do like crazy stunts or and slash or you know be big in skateboarding you know this got it's a lot of the origins of this came from the you know early 2000s late 90s radical skating scene you know like he was a skater boy, you know. Yeah, so basically what happened was you are correct. You're just kind of very big, very big. So I'll give you All right, what, what, stuff here. You give us some more details that are slipping from my mind. Indeed. You are, you are correct. Yes. But the concreteness of it is like the first ever jackass member was actually Bam Margera. Margera, yes. Margera, whatever. He will yeah. we'll dive into that later. But Bam Bam worked for this uh skateboard magazine called Big Brother. Yep. Big Brother was a pun intended big part of the formation of this <laughs> oh yes it was basically uh oof. it was basically playboy for skaters that's a good way to look at it uh there were naked women and how to stuff articles on like how to create a fake id and all, all that stuff so yeah i see yep yeah, yep and then uh the it was during oh, it was during the what it was during his work for the magazine that Bam, you know, brought to Bam was creating a couple of videos for, you know, the magazine and all that to sell in the stores, I guess. Call. And uh, it was just him skating kind of. All of his kind of made all of his like skating videos and strung them together into like a like actual movie or something TGK what tgk or something that that was called yeah it was something like that but yeah a very weak very weak uh story but well yes it's not about that for yeah sure. it wasn't about that it was about the skating it was about the sex whatever you know it was about it was the, all that type of crap the radicality the radicality if you will yes the radicality. And then he made a second film. He did. And that one was shunted off of store shelves because of the too radicalness of it, I guess. And then will be a big thing. Oh, oh yes. Then they create. Then he was in 1996. He he uh, Johnny Knoxville came on to Big Brother and I'm Johnny Knoxville. Yeah, and uh, no. he actually did a part. Like, so he actually did something. He did like a stunt that was included in Bam's, I guess, third film or something. Hmm. It was the stunt where Johnny tested out pepper spray. Excuse me, a stun gun, a taser. And a 38 caliber gun with a bulletproof vest. Ah, uh, yeah. He talks and, about And, uh, yeah. So, this is kind of the origins of Kick-Ass, because there's a couple of other 
jackass cast members that in- were included in the uh, this film called Number Two. The, that stunt was in Number Two, I guess. Jackass Number Two. No, it's not Jackass Number Two. It was just called Number Two. That yes. was in what you're referring to was in either the first or second episode of the TV series, actually. Yep, they probably Not re-edited that in yeah. into the show. But yeah, it was originally in the... Okay. I think it was in Bam's second film, actually. Huh. Because it's called Number Two. Interesting. Anyway, though. Hmm. Anyway, though, we're going to just fast forward through all that. Knoxville did something with a... He he somehow got on with Big Brother as a someone who did like articles, writing stuff, journalism, I think, and he ended up writing a piece on uh, weapons and self defense testing. Which yeah, there you go. That ties right into that. So yeah, that's basically how we got to start. Yeah, and uh, I mean. Needless to say, these films were pretty popular among the the rage, the ragers, you know, the 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 90s, like totally radical kids, you know, just just wanted to see all this crap. It was basically. It was basically the film that everyone that every kid knew about and was trying to get their hands on. Yeah, so with that popularity. MTV signed on, or it was, it's more complicated than that, but short and sweet. MTV got in touch with all these people, including, you know, Johnny Knoxville, Bam, the people who created the number two film. But they also got in touch with like uh, other people like Steve O, aka my. My uh, soul animal, if you will, and uh, <laughs> other people, like other people, to c- kind of finalize and get off all the uh, the jackass people, and started to create this show where they would just kind of do whatever, various stunts, various stunts, just trying to kill themselves, and jackass was born for better. Or for worse. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it, kind of folks. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> so here's the thing. I've seen, and I guess we got to the series now. So it, it was, I tried as short as I possibly can. It was very painful, but we made it. So, So Jackass officially debuted on 2000, and the second episode is actually the highest Sunday rating in MTV history with 2.4 million viewers among 12 to 34-year-olds. Wow. So, yeah, 12-year-olds were watching this. Okay. Very well. I mean, I've seen exactly what you're talking about as of last night, and... I'm just going to say very well. I don't know. So I actually haven't seen a full episode of this yeah. show. I've actually seen a few stunts as they were probably originally intended to be on YouTube before YouTube existed. Pretty much. So uh, actually YouTube was created to kind of circulate the Janet Jackson nip slip from the Super Bowl, actually. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, so there you go. And then it kind of, I guess it kind of became Jackass, the website or whatever, because they started all that crap, too. Anyway, though. Yeah. Jackass, the series. Not it, uh, mainly a compilation of stunts for each episode with some brief commercial breaks. Uh, Steve-O oh, yeah. didn't appear a whole lot at first his first big debut was swallowing the goldfish and then throwing it back up in the bowl on the back <laughs> sit there watch him go 
Oh. <laughs> of yeah. course, I did that. Hey, he did it. Hey, Louis Simos, he did it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> he did. They have. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, though, Jackass the TV show apparently it ran from 2000 to 2001 because yeah. apparently. <laughs> People, apparently, kid teens were imitating them, and yes. they were getting in trouble and kind of getting hurt and dying, even. Which is not funny. Dying kids is not funny, but oh, no. not in itself. But just the, the fact that I mean, the warning is there. Okay, the warning. Like, what is MTV supposed to do? Like, yeah. They are literally telling people to not do this. You know, unless they're doing it anyway. There before, but I th- think it was. Now the, st- that, like, hey, if something, if this, that. if this garbage, yeah, if, if this this trash was on cable TV, there is yeah. no way in hell that a warning would not be on each and every episode. There is there there is no way I I I cannot. I'd be surprised if I would it, be I would be shocked. Yeah, I would be shocked if that did not happen. Yeah. For anyway. sure. For sure. Oh. oh yeah. Anyway though. So yeah, the TV show. What's your experience with the TV show, son? The first two episodes of season one and whatever Steve talks about on his podcast. <laughs> I mean, I got a few clips of it. It's very low qual very low quality. But that's yep. the that's the charm of it though, you know? Yep. Oh yeah. It's like it's like you wouldn't expect it's like you wouldn't expect this type of show to exist. But it does, yep. right? Yep. It's like yeah. it's, it's like a bunch of it's like a bunch of twenty year olds taking a camcorder or something and just videoing yeah. themselves doing random garbage. And it's yeah. some of it's hilarious, some of it's cringe, but otherwise it's just jackass. What are you gonna What are you gonna do? You know, up the ante with the first two films. That's what yeah. they did. Steve actually does appear in the TV show, so yes, like in his goldfish swallowing experience. Yes, yes, indeed. And uh, oh crap! Oops, my drink just fell on the computer. Oh, kind folks, uh, that doesn't sound too kind, huh? <laughs> Uh, that's not kind of kind there, kind of folks. <laughs> While well, I clean this up, Sam, why don't you talk about yeah. something about Jackass there? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, yeah, I've only seen the first two episodes of season one. Uh, I recall it being a little bit tamer Compared to the films, which isn't saying much, but it was still like it, it was a little bit, if you can call it this, safe for work compared to the films. Uh, I'll, I'll have a lot more to say about the second film for sure, but uh, uh, yeah, they, I mean, they started somewhere. They got off the ground. It was funny for the most part. Uh, I do think the intro is kind of funny with the alligator chopping at the beginning. Uh, yeah. Knoxville, fun fact, he is from Knoxville. His real name that, is... Yeah. That's where he comes from. Johnny Knoxville. He comes from Knoxville. But Did yeah. You- I forget what the P stands for. It's like 
It's P. John Clapp. But he didn't want to sign P.J. Clapp. He wanted to be Johnny Knoxville. So there you go. That, that's what he said. Yeah. So if we did all of these things in order, we would be here forever. Yes. Because it's not because these there's a lot. Okay. And they kind of had to. Because in order to stay relevant, they kind of had to keep going and going and going. Yep. So I think it's worth, you know, discussing the main, uh, you could call it the core four. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We already talked about the show that kind of started it all. It is tamer, surprisingly. Comparatively, yes. And. When they jumped into the movies, that's when they got... They got really, really explicit in some of it. Oh, yes. Which is... Which I am shocked that they could... I I saw it on the second one. I was like, how would you even think of something like this? I mean... which is Here's how they did it. They got the rated R. Of course, they got rated R. But well, yeah, of course. But they did the unrated cut, and yes. then they did the two point five. Like they did, started to do the point five things, which is like, yeah, oh yeah, this is the unrated, but even more so, extra stuff. So the movie in theater was kind of the commercial for the DVD release. It's like, it's the 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 bulk of it, but not the entirety. Yet the, what did you think of the first one? I thought it was fairly... The first film? Yeah. Jackass, the movie. Yeah. So... Not too bad. So, let's talk about why the movie exists first. Okay. Why does the movie exist? So, the TV show. Cancel. A lot of people. So, sen- so during at the time, a lot of senators were kind of like saying, hey, got to oh, cut the show out. That was awesome. And MT- MTV was kind of like, how. How long can this show last? Yeah. So it ended after its third season, which surprising enough, it lasted for like two years. So there's three seasons in two years, which is surprising. Okay. You are correct. And normally, like in the span of like October 2000 to like 2001, you would get one season but they got three which i yeah okay cool yeah well, cool. 2002 oh, yeah. because the need for it was so big it was like just taking the world by storm yep they decided yep. to make a movie they did very it was, again if you want to look it up on how this happened Go for it. We if we if we uh, talked about why and how we're just going to be here forever. But, yep. Yep. but the short and sweet of it is that they canceled the show to make the movie, so they made the movie with and, pressure and senators and the kids acting up and dying. Unfortunately. Yeah, even though it doesn't make a whole lot of sense why yeah. they would ramp up. They ramped up everything to 11. 
in the movie. Did it they? I believe yeah. this is where uh, Steve-O gets all the hair on his body shaved or something. Oh, yes. And he looks, oh. I, it was so funny. Like, I laughed so hard at that that I screenshotted it, I'm pretty sure. So, imagine... Uh, so, no. imagine Jackass, but with a competent budget. Ah, oh, yeah, there. A little bit more refined from a production standpoint. Yes. So, there you go. Decor. And was that? It was kind of, I think it was, this is where their giant parodies kind of started. Yes. It was because of this that all the, like, it was because of this that all the giganticness of Jackass started to come into frame here. Yep, it really <clears throat> Jackass the series r- walked, so Jackass the movies would run, basically. There you go. That's a good analogy. Yep, that's that's exactly how I see it as well. Yep, it's a lot of people really denounce this film. Like it I'm got sure. a lot of mixed reviews. <clears throat> yeah, that's. that's to be expected for something let's, like that. Let's see. Let me, let me just look this up real fast. What is what is your thoughts? On I, thought, I liked it okay. Uh, I think I laughed more at this one than the second one because the second one is more like... Then again, granted, I saw the unrated cut of the second one, but... It, it, uh, to that shortly, but uh, yeah, Steve without any hair on his face, like seeing him just like doing his, like, it's almost like a, a scars guard wise face, he, he can kind of do that thing, you know, I'm talking about, and he's making that face casually without any eyebrows, or and he's like totally bold. <laughs> No eyelashes either, I don't think. It just it, it looked so hilarious that I screenshot. So yeah, good stuff. Uh I'm trying to remember what else happened. I believe this is where they do the whole bit with the the shopping cart on the roof. Uh, let me think what else. Uh it's been a while since I've seen the first one. Uh, oh yeah, another notable one for me, at least, was the the part where they've got that massive like boxing glove thing that comes out from the wall when the guy walks in. It's like, yeah, do you have to? What's up? <laughs> Okay, so here's the thing. So here's the thing. I looked up Google. I typed in everything that I can for this film. For oh. Roger Ebert, okay, the high, the high and mighty, oh. the high mighty of all things film criticism, right? No oh boy. Guess what he guess what he gave this film? A two. No, guess what he. Like, the only thing... No, he actually liked it. (laughs) Oh, wow. Thank God he did. I mean, God help... He said, God help me, thumbs up to this film. He he gave the film a low rating, but only barely. Because he explained his rating comes somewhere between a thumbs down and sort of waving over... Waving over and a sort of waving over recommendation. So he 
he liked it. So he he liked it for what it was, kind of. And that's where I kind of it. That's where I'm kind of at too. It's yeah. Okay, here's the thing. For film, I am a film fanatic. Let's Naturally, yes. If you did it lightly, already. okay. Let's put it lightly, okay. I like yeah. my films to have plots. I like my films to have fiction uh, absolute fiction or documentaries oh nice like, like good Absolute. documentary yeah. you know you yep dock it up this it's is not. neither this is neither kind of like a, a sort of reality tv maybe kind of oh, like in in a film in a this is its own <laughs> this is its own genre okay. it is something but i gotta say ladies and gentlemen god help again god help me but i love this film this is so good it was pretty it, funny it's hilarious steve O again my okay. spirit animal for steve O. I could kind of see the similarity i love i love this man okay the 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 only like pretty- Johnny Knoxville, okay, made this. Made, He's pretty great too. I'm not gonna lie. Johnny Knoxville, Johnny Knoxville created this. Bam, there wouldn't be a film, there wouldn't be a franchise without it. Without Bam, but Steve O, okay, he's the heart and soul of this film. Okay, he's the heart and soul of this franchise. Yes, not Would as be- much as the second one, unfortunately, but yeah. Oh, that's why I hate it so much. <laughs> no, okay. But anyway, <laughs> the film, this, imagine, I mean, if this film came out today, I'd be like, okay, why? <laughs> Just why? <laughs> you know? It yeah. doesn't need to exist, but it is so, un- I'm trying I'm trying to give as much as I can because YouTube won't really, you know, tell me. Like, it won't really say. We can't really say a whole lot because YouTube will kind of, you know. So Steve-O is your spirit animal, huh? He is. I can kind of see I that say in it. a way. You know, I think I already said it. Love my films. So here, so here's the th- sorry cut. We had a cut, but yeah, a little technical here's, issue. We're, we're technical issue, but uh, here it is. Love, love fiction, love documentaries. This is a yep. whole other genre in of itself. Okay. Yes. Yes, it is. And dare I say it, just like the great Roger Ebert's. He, he apparently was like, listen, okay, this is a whole other thing, okay? And it is the greatest thing in its thing, okay? And greatest thing in its thing, yeah, it's, pretty it's much. The, it is the greatest thing in this thing. Every well said. Every person, every person that it's weird because, because you, you can't say that anyone wrote it necessarily. Everyone contributed to it. You can't say that it's fiction because everyone contributed contributed to it. It's definitely not fiction. For it's sure. not fiction. Not at all. It's not <laughs> real life. I mean, it, it's it happens in real life, but it's. It's not about real life. If that makes sense. It's yeah. Kind of I'm looking at it. Yeah. So the most notable stunts and pranks from this film included Johnny Knoxville getting flipped over and being knocked That's... out in a golf cart. Steve O snorting wasabi. <laughs> Wasabi snooters. That's what that is. 
indeed. Just Mixed like with... his cocaine, which we'll get to very shortly after this. Getting... Yep. Storing wasabi mixed with oh. soy sauce. Bam. Pranking his mother, April, by planting a live alligator in her oh, kitchen. Oh, yeah. That's right. And then Steve-O does the, the like, tightrope thing with the chicken. Yeah. In his underwear over the alligator. Chris dancing in public as his character, Party Boy, while wearing nothing but Pontius. a thong. Of course. Naturally. Oh, Pontius. Ryan fighting against female Japanese kickboxing champion. <laughs> I don't remember that part. Aaron eating a snow cone made from his own <laughs> urine. Oh, danger, Aaron. That's that guy. Yeah. Oh, boy. Now we're now we're now we're cooking. We man wrecking havoc across Japan in a giant traffic cone. A lot of this is taking place in Japan, apparently. And oh, I didn't recall I would, that. But I didn't yeah, recall I guess that did. either, but apparently it's a lot yeah. of these. So Dave and Dave England yep. defecating in a display toilet at a hardware store after having an accident in a car where he proceeds to uncomfortably defecate in his pants. Oh, yeah. But the most memorable yeah. stunt involves a toy car being inserted into Ryan Dunn's anus. And he got x-rayed. And or, in order to get it shown in an x-ray. And then the doctor was like so just beside himself. Why you put that up there? It was funny. Oh, that yes. was a good one. Sure. So this. Oh, my gosh. I mean, this is the one that started. <laughs> it's the one that started it all. It is. And you know it what else beautiful. it started? Well, it didn't start it, but it helped fuel certain bad habits, if you know what I mean. So, <clears throat> oh, I thought we were going to talk about a couple of. Uh, Couple of what? What you got for us? Okay, so we're so here's the thing. Okay, the f- let's, the first film, solid. It, it's yeah. so solid. I, I can't really give it a rating. I mean, we're, we're we're not really giving ratings, I guess. No, I did actually on it. because they are in of itself like YouTube videos. Yeah, it's that's rating good. a YouTube video. I'm not rating it. I'm not rating every single YouTube episode. <laughs> in this thing. It's like. Yeah. So, but let's just say it's gold. OK, it's it's solid. Good stuff. Definitely a, a kind of folks classic. <laughs> First film gold. OK, beautiful. Yes. But, uh, okay, I guess we'll just dive into this. Um, first, and so apparently, another so another reason why this film and these guys do the way do it the way they want to do it is because they do a lot of um sub drugs substances yeah. which yeah. we do not recommend you do but anyway they at this at this point good but, but uh after, yeah well most of them the yeah. the good ones yes but uh, Johnny, Steve O were especially Steve O. Yeah, they they were kind of going. They were doing the, they were doing the hard stuff. Okay, they're doing the hard stuff. Yeah, 
uh, Steve-O in particular has spoken a lot about his addiction experiences. Uh, and I believe his on he said in his uh, mom's side of the family, they were alcoholics and he got that trait. And he was a full-blown alcoholic and he was also really into cocaine and uh, with its, you know, the nitrous oxide in the spray in the aerosol bottle so it's yeah it's the reason for all of the uh like painkillers in this film is uh Mm. like the reason why they took a lot of painkillers was for this film Basically, I don't even know what I was supposed to say there, but yeah, and uh, it is. It is simply without a doubt the. The downside <laughs> of the whole shebang. Oh, Put yes. That way. Van Margera also became an alcoholic, I believe. At that point. Maybe before that. Uh, so, yeah. They they were struggling behind the scenes, and they didn't actively realize it. Yeah, we're... So we're not but, going to die... We're not going to dive into all the well, yeah. drugs and stuff. Right. This is it's, what... It's, it's a statement of facts. Yes. And I'm happy to say that there is light at the end of the tunnel... Quite as we quite. move along to number two, indeed, Jackass so. number two and two point five apparently. Yeah, you thought thought number two, thought number one was it's my ass, my gosh, my ass. <laughs> I can't yeah, believe this these, one. Believe these guys are still alive. After number this. two was a, a bit more disturbing, to say the <laughs> least. And I saw the unrated version, so I saw it's so it all of its glory. It's so bizarre that the it's poster something. doesn't even have them. The poster doesn't even have them. It just oh, has yeah. the logo. That's right. But yeah, and it took six years. Oh yeah, it did, didn't it? Yes. So the reason for the big gap was because they were kind of, I mean, they were kind of doing their own stuff. They were doing their own TV shows and all that type of stuff all that type of stuff they were doing stuff on tv i mean they're doing stuff with jackass they were kind of jackass was exploding right dare i say the ass was exploding (laughs) yeah you could say yeah the ass exploded (laughs) yeah oh yeah jackass number two exploded it did. And mm-hmm. dare, I, dare I say it. Did explode. Son, what's your opinion on Jackass number two? Oh, boy. Um, there were parts that I did find hilarious. But the big difference between this and the first one was. The. Instead of being parsed, I was like, hey, that's kind of funny. This one was like, oh my god, what the hell am I watching? Oh god. Wah, 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 oh my god, turn it off. No, I actually watched it all the way through. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I mean, I liked it about as much as the first one when it's all said and done uh did you have any notable stunts or moments from this film that you want to mention 
curious. So, uh, Johnny Knoxville sitting on the big red rocket. Big while, red, this is my big red rocket. <laughs> well, which gets launched into the air. The first one didn't work. <laughs> they almost killed people. Yeah. Bam being <sighs> stuck on it. Bam being stuck in a trailer with a cobra. Dave riding a giant firehouse. Yep. That launches Uh, him into a patch of mud. Ryan launched into a giant, uh, launched into a garage door while riding into a shopping cart. He did. Bam Margera Uh, got on the skateboard and slammed into the the Porta Johnny. Giant Oxville putting his hand in a bear trap, which basically he concludes did. the film and all that. So, Aaron. Yeah. yeah. Pretty is, much. This is the one where he puts. Um, this is the stunt where he puts his. Uh, I don't even know what to call it, but. Apparently, I guess this is the one where they put they put their set their pubic hair on fire. I don't recall that part. That maybe that was in the point five. What they did do was a uh, uh the one guy, yeah, the danger Aaron guy. They told him to turn into like a. Middle Eastern guy or something. Yeah, this is the and they they gave him a fake beard, but that was everyone's pubic hair collectively. Yeah. And then the it's not taxi the... driver pranked Danger Aaron. He was pranking the taxi driver, but he got out pranked. It was like the prank on the prank. It's the it was kind of out there. Very uh, very creative in that sense. I, I, I'll give it credit there. That's not the most disturbing moment for me, though, by far. It's not PC. Let's put it that oh, way. Oh, no, no, no way. Not even close. I mean, neither <laughs> was the first one, but this and, was even less so. But... Uh, uh, yeah. But yeah, they get. I mean, Steve O getting got his cheek pierced by a fish hook, and he did got thrown into a shark yeah, infested. He swam with the sharks and yeah. kicked one in the face. That's right. Uh, man, it, it's like it's painful. You're like, oh god. Oh no, that looks awful. Uh, yeah. Uh, the entire main cast of Jackass is the movie returned for the sequel. They did. This is good, I guess. Brandings happened. Uh, Bam Margera got branded and showed it to his mom, who freaked out. Yeah. Yes, he did. You got any other ones before I, I bring up the the magnum opus? With nope. the opus? No, here comes the big opus. <sighs> I got to take a deep breath for this one. Um, you uh, hmm. want to get something to eat? You uh, take you ma- want? Okay, I mean, you, you go for it. I'm going to go for it. Uh, kind folks, if you're a, uh, if, if you are uh, easily offended or the, the, the type that gets offended by stuff, uh, you may want to uh, skip this over is... this part, or you may want to just watch a different video altogether. Because this is, I, I I I'll never forget it. That's for sure. Uh, let's see. They went to a. Let's let's uh. Let's what? Sen- let's censor it as best we can. Okay. I, I'm going to attempt to. 
So, uh, they went to a horse ranch, and the the ranch owner had a a like a Hispanic accent of some sort. Not that that really added or subtracted from it, but I remember that was a thing. Uh, he seemed really chill and laid back about the whole thing. Uh, then they had this uh, mare out there, a female horse, just standing there. And they brought out a male horse who was, as they phrased it, hot to trot. Um, I'd say it was a, maybe it was the mating season, put it that way. Uh, so the, this male horse starts like going like, you know, just making horse noises essentially and, uh, mounts the female horse and begins the the process of life, if you know what I mean. But the plot twist here is they, uh, I don't know how to word this one, uh, they, they put the horse's shaft in In a fake horse vag. <laughs> I can't sugarcoat that at all. There's no way around it. Uh, it basically gave this male horse a sex toy. <laughs> so weird. Uh, and collected the horse sperm in... The jar at the end of it. Oh god. Then and I, the end. I, no, I wish. Yep. And then after getting confirmation from the Hispanic guy, one of them We're we're beaten. We're not uh that you don't want to know what happened next. We're we're, we're yeah, we're not uh <sighs> the, the end. It's yeah. a little too graphic. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I, uh, as you can imagine, I will never forget that. I don't know oh. if I really wanted to see it, but I did. Quite, quite. So watch out. If you're watching the uncut version, prepare yourself for something unforgettable <sighs> you can sigh that one again <laughs> oh man oh, oh I just I don't even want to think about it <laughs> well, uh, so, I, don't yeah. think our, I don't think oh. our uh, viewers want really want to think about it I, I don't think so either uh, yeah viewer discretion advised on that one to the utmost extent uh yeah that is why that in itself is probably why i would say i enjoyed the first one a little bit more <laughs> uh... so that alone does it uh if you took that out they'd probably be even yeah this isn't my that one, that that just, I don't know, that was at another level. Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, a, a level so bad that I, I'm, I'm not going to share what happened at the end of that whole clip. Uh, it, it's, yeah. Uh, you don't want to know. You really don't. Uh, so. The end. Yeah, the end on that stunt. If 
that is is that even a stunt? I don't even know what you call that. Just <sighs> what the hell? What the hell is it? I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, I think you just did. Like categorizing it. Like I I can't it's not a stunt. It it's just its own thing. Uh, and with that the end <laughs> the end for that wow uh, now with that out of the way that is probably the worst of it for the whole video um, I'm happy to say that everything else I've seen from this franchise is nowhere even close to that bad so uh, yeah at least as far as I'm aware, heaven forbid. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think we can both conclude the first one is a bit easier to sit through. And the second one uh, has some nightmare fuel. Oh, yes. The third... Yeah third one though i have not seen the third or fourth <clears throat> so yeah we we'll have to let you uh explain the other two yeah so it's a lot of uh a lot of something even... A lot of a lot, lot of a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. We're uh so just trying to figure out exactly where to go from here, but I mean just let's dive into the to the third one. I mean really that that was I mean about from it the, for the second one. So I mean, from the second one to the third one, there was a they lot of other stuff. What? Like, I got, I will say, there was a long hiatus, I think, between that one and the third one. And that was when at least Steve O was really doing bad on the drugs and eventually oh, yeah. went to rehab and came out the other side for number three. Indeed. And that's where, but before number three, there was That's Dr. Steve O. We're not going to just really describe a whole lot of I it. I forgot all there, about that. We're not really going to describe a whole lot of it because I really haven't seen or dove into a whole lot of it. Yeah. I can't really describe it, and we're not going to describe yeah. even further of that. And uh, yeah, let's uh, move on. <clears throat> Let's move on, I guess. So, uh, yeah. I don't even know how they uh, went through that. I I don't either. Um, yeah, they, they really uh, did something with the second one. Uh, I'm surprised that that didn't... Well, Cancel them. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I did see the unrated one, so it is what it is, but... I hope to God that was left out of the theatrical release. <laughs> I think they kind of had to. I hope they did. I've never seen the theatrical version, but they cut that out. I give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Except for. Anyway. Yeah. If any uh, animals were harmed. No. But I don't recall any animal harm happening. But yeah, anyway, though, this is uh, kind of we're going to be kind of fast forwarding through all this other stuff. Yeah, because it's it's not as uh, prevalent as the first two. But uh, there was a lot of but the reason why there's a big gap between. number two and number three yes again because there's a lot of 
this is where we kind of dove into a lot more. How do I put this? The coming clean, if you will. Yes, they, uh, they, with the exception of Bam, section exception of uh, a Bam few of era and others that I'm not thinking of. Maybe they hadn't gotten there yet, but. You know, they're starting to get more sobered up. With the third one, they... So here's the thing. With these, with the second one, they decided to... start doing the... uh, getting clean. Yes. With each film, they kind of... With each film, they tried to be as clean as they could let's put it that way third one even cleaner steve-o i think this is where we uh there's a lot of i can't really describe a whole lot of it because i really haven't again yeah, rushed never through a whole it. lot of it i've i've only seen the movies so we're only gonna just dis- there's only there's like a lot of i'm just rambling on right now Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Try again. You're almost there. So there's main different things called Wild Boys, Viva La Bam, Homewrecker, yep. Blastas, Blastazoid, I've Bam's Unholy Union, Doctor oh. Steve O, yep. Bam's World Domination. And Bam's Badass Game Show. Bam's Badass Game Show. The the two important ones to take note of, I think, are uh, Wild Boys, especially, and uh, Viva La Bam. Those were the two big ones. Dr. Stevo, maybe. I've never heard of any of the rest of those. So. Jackass 3D. Yes. Jackass 3D. <laughs> there you go. Apparently, this in one 3D. is not as good. That's all I know this about is, it. This is the... Uh, yeah. This is the one where they went a little... This is the this is the last... Okay, so... Par- so, the reason... The reason why this is so taken very weirdly, I would say, it's yeah. kind of hard, kind of hard to really say here. Is yeah. this is the or last the one? This is the last one before. Dunn's death, basically. Ah, yes. Tragically, he did pass away. Indeed, in 2011. Yes. And and uh, yeah, Beavis and Butthead Ugh. opened the film with a special. They camera. did. They did. That's and right. Next, and has an explanation of 3D technology. Yep. This is where they kind of went a little bit. This is what this is where they kind of went a little. I don't know what we're trying to get at. It's a little something and a lot it's of a little exhale. too far. OK, in which direction? Like worse in terms of worse. content, like it's like explicitness of it is worse. I don't know. I mean, the second one was the first one was okay. more, uh, more. It's it's more uh, watchable. To say the least, you're not going to be uh, 
scarred for life, like I might have been by the second one. Uh, so is is the third one? You know, so the first one, you, the first one life. is watchable. Yeah. The first one was Absolutely. watchable. The second one, you're yeah, scarred. Cut only, please. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. We, we said a lot about it. We did. So stick to the theatrical cut. This is where they kind of... The fans weren't... So, fans were kind of shaky on this because they kind of went a little... Two skits. What? Not not you. They went into the skits. Oh, oh okay, I see. They like oh like actual yeah. comedy skits. Not you. Dun 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 dun. Hey, like Beavis and Butthead and all that. That it gets points for that. That I remember watching that intro on YouTube, and it was actually kind of funny. So they did high speed. Film cameras, they went to, yeah, like that shot a thousand yeah. frames per second with a lot of their, a lot of their things and all that, which, yeah. not really my forte. Oh, okay. I mean, I can kind of. It's respectable, I suppose. It's respectable. I mean, it's not plot driven and it's not fictional. Or a documentary. Well, neither what. Here's the thing. Huh. Neither was any of the other ones. True, true. This one was kind of. Eh, you know, I, I'm not really. This oh. one was a little. This one was a little too. Against the foray, if you will. All right. Ah, okay. They're trying to change the formula. Is that kind of what it was? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could see that not sitting well with the fans. They had, I mean, started to do a lot more like Editing, like a lot more film yeah. editing, I guess. A lot more of the film editing was kind of the rawness isn't there. I see. Yeah. No. It it didn't so feel we're... like it was a true successor in the series. Maybe. Seems the people kind of the idea. I don't know, but the the people were. The people were kind of just going balls to the wall. <laughs> you thought. And when I say jackass going to balls to the wall, that's where the fans kind of went well, like, OK, let's. Oh, balls to the wall, really? if you will. Ah. Yep. I mean, that doesn't totally surprise me, though. In fact, this is the one that I uh, didn't watch a whole lot of. I haven't seen any of it but the intro, which I liked. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that's the best part of it so far. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to see it for myself. So, normal pranks include... Yes. Do we have for that? Johnny Knoxville being camouflaged, painted as a bull charges at him. Oh, yeah. Bam failing, Bam falling into a pit filled with snakes while attempting to prank Jeff. <laughs> Jeff Tremaine, like the director. Yep, Jeff, Ryan, and Steve O playing instruments while a male sheep rams them. Steve O okay. drinking Preston Lancey's sweat after. Oh, gosh. Right. And epileptic machine. Oh, an elliptical? Yeah. Okay. Epileptic machine. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, yeah. Getting, cook, getting his 
crooked tooth pulled by Bam's Lamborghini. Dave playing tetherball with a beehive against Steve-O. Nice. And then Preston Lancey getting a football kicked into his face by a professional NFL kicker. Oh. Well, so far, that sounds better than the second one, actually. Um, uh, But... I mean, the pranks are From fun. that standpoint, yeah. They just went a little... Look let, me this. Say, let me say this. The pranks are fun. Yeah. yeah. They just went a little too high editing. Let's put it that way. Okay, yep. Too that high in the editing. They, they went a little overboard with the editing process. Yeah. That's why it's 3D. A lot of it was... Oh, yeah. Yes, I see. You will. That's why it's 3D. Oh. High frame rates kind of need to cool it, if you will. Yeah, that that's going to be... Uh, that would look interesting, that high frame rate. Yeah. And it was kind of after this that a lot of the jackass kind of stopped. For a while. I mean, there's Bad Grandpa. Yes. There's, Shark. there's Bad Grandpa and all that, which I didn't really watch. I didn't yeah, really. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. There's a lot of content that a lot of people were kind of like all over the place. Yeah. Kind of stopped. I mean, and uh, yeah. But. Hmm. Through it all, they came back after the pandemic. They did. For one. A lot more, a lot more sobriety. Minus Bam lot... Margera. So Bam. Act... So. This is the he one was... where Bam kind of. He wasn't in it, I don't think. No, Bam was in one sketch. Okay, that's what it was. He w- but he kind of, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But a lot of people, but this is where they complete. So the third one, they completely got sober for. Yeah. Especially after the, especially after the death of one of their own. Yeah, well, that made it even harder for Bam, though. That kind of triggered it, his downward spiral, which he's kind of still in, but, uh, yeah, I believe, overall, that is correct. Yeah. So. But, I mean, yeah, so. Yeah. Jackass Forever. A.K.A. the best one. <laughs> the in best one? What more in my bones? Supposedly. This is the one that kind of introduced me into Jackass, actually. Ah, I see. It's the one... It's it the one that is kind of the best one, in my opinion. Okay. What makes it the best? Well, I'm trying to explain it because they did a lot of. There was a huge like pause for it, right? Yeah, because the third one was like in 2013 or something. Because right. there was, it was like ten years basically of no jackass really, and everyone was just like kind of over it. Yes. But then all of a sudden, just like this, then all of a sudden, just after going through hell basically with yep. COVID and all that and whatever else wars, yep. 
Yep. They brought Jackass back and they were like, one more time yep. making this movie. And no one really thought that Jackass was actually going to make a whole lot of money. They were just like, all right, fine. Let's do, let's do one more. Whatever. Let's see what's going on. Let's see how it is at that age. Yeah. And plus they were old. So they were like, okay, we can't oh, really yeah, do a whole lot more. So let's just mid to late 40s, early 50s, maybe. Yeah, I mean, Johnny Knoxville's like completely hair. His hair is completely white now. Yep, or gray. It's like really light gray, silver fox. Yeah, color, whatever that is. That's what I don't know. Says. I don't know if he's like if that's his real hair color or what, but I believe it is actually. Yeah. So anyway, though. <sighs> This is where it kind of quote unquote ends, but yep. not really because it made a lot of money. So they're kind of like, oh, well, let's make some more. Yeah. But anyway, oh, this yeah. includes Knoxville face facing a bull resulting in dangerous consequences. Dave yes. unexpectedly gets pig semen dumped on him. Oh, God, we're going interview. back to the. No. During a fake interview about the movie. We don't see pigs, though, which is good. Steve-O having a, a step up. Steve-O, Steve-O having his penis used as a beehive. What? Yeah. I don't even know how that's Aaron possible. being, being a, subjected to painful tests with an athletic cup. All right. All that type of stuff. Hmm. It's kind of hard to really talk about this, honestly. You hear a lot of pauses, a lot of stammering from me. Yes. Not really a whole lot of really to talk about. With this. Yeah. Um, that is true. It's kind of harder. Also... It's kind of harder to talk about, but. Yeah. It's kind of like. YouTube before YouTube existed. YouTube before YouTube existed, and then once YouTube started kind of happening, it's yeah. Then it kind of became outdated. It became outdated. Yeah, that's argue. true. I mean, a lot of their spinoff shows kind of happened in between the first and second movies, and then it mm -hmm. really started to become old after the second movie. Yeah. And then the third movie, they try to like do all these wild, crazy things and like have 3d and all that type of stuff. And this one, I mean, so with the, between the third and the fourth one, they were like, okay, we're actually going to finally stop with all yeah. the bugs. Yes. And, but in like in the movies, you know, they had to not be on drugs. It's part of their Paramount's code or whatever, right? Yeah. But in between the movies, they were like, you know, whatever. But now they're like, okay, now we're going to not be on drugs. Bam, kind of. Not as much, but not yeah. as much anymore. But nice, fortunately. Boys. Yep, still so, an alcoholic. Uh, enough of him for that for this yeah. conversation. But Steve O Very makes fun. his appearance back. Thank God, Miracle Man himself. With his epic podcast, and his epic podcast, and his epicness. Yeah. And And, uh, yeah. Honestly, it's like a better edited YouTube movie, kind of. Okay. Kind of gave a lot of... Kind of gave a lot of, uh... I mean, the final four... The fourth film kind of gave a lot of people, like, a happy time. Yeah. Especially after the pandemic. Which is pretty surprise. Which is 
it's kind of surprising that something this stupid you yeah know, got so much money but it did and now they're trying to do something with it but everyone's yes. like old and crooked now bones break easier as they said oh yes so yeah they're kind of they're really thinking about it because it made yeah. eight times their budget which is huge especially in oh yeah so but anyway though you don't really know I mean, anything about this movie because you didn't really watch it i haven't right? seen it i've seen i think bits from it i know steve-o likes to talk about it in his podcast and his youtube channel is talking about what they do in jackass forever because uh, they just so. did it. yeah so that's basically my understanding of it's what he's actually mentioned from his channel which is ironic because this was all we're this whole theme here is like it's youtube before youtube videos yeah and now he has a youtube channel <laughs> dun, 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 and yet that is basically what yeah that is basically what jackass is youtube before youtube and <clears throat> pretty much now it's kind totally, of yeah. beyond youtube yeah but yeah, for sure still familiar and yet, <clears throat> still revolutionary. Oh, yeah. It, it's it will something. never... It's somehow... Somehow these kids who skateboarded and tried to kill themselves <clears throat> huh. became legends. Rich and famous. They did. And rich and famous. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I mean, they're still doing their stuff. Johnny Knoxville has actually become a pretty decent actor, acting yep. in other movies, not just that's right, Jackass. Did. Did. Yep. Spike Jones became one of the, you know, really fabulous director of our time. Yeah. Yep. That's true. And, yeah, a bunch of other people are starting to become really big in this culture nowadays. Yes. All we can do is hope that maybe they make one more Jackass movie. <laughs> when they're oh. old men. Bad Grandpa in real life. There you go. Bad Grandpa, no costume effects needed edition. Indubitably, son. What else? You, what closing thoughts do you have to say about closing thoughts, Jackass? Um. Well, it's not for everyone. You have to really be okay with seeing things that may or may not disturb you. If you really want to sit down and watch stuff from this franchise, um. It's it's definitely not for everyone. Uh, you know, I liked the majority of it, um, but you know, you may not. You know, it may not be your cup of tea. So take it for what it is. They they did a good job at doing what they were trying to accomplish. If you want to look at it that way. So I I'd say. It's been an overall success for them. Uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, we'll go down in history as something pretty, pretty gnarly, as he says. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are your closing thoughts? That's about all I got. Yes, indeed. I just said my closing thoughts. Ah. So I'm good. Anyway, though, guys. Cool. What do you think of Jackass? Yes. The Rock Yeah. Sucks. Yes. Comment, let us know, subscribe, ring that bell. More Favorite content coming your way. And hey, take care, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.